Hey, what's up guys? Here's a quick video um, uh, anodizing aluminum with pool chemicals. Here are the chemicals pH down and lye. And get the dye from Anodize World online. Here's my setup, two buckets and a power supply. The ratio is eight cups of water to four tablespoons of lye for the etching and for the sulfuric acid, it's eight cups of water for 30 tablespoons of uh, actually pH down. Here's the lead sheet in the bucket. Here's the setup lead sheet in the uh, solution of acid. And uh, I see a little air, I put a little air hose in there to agitate the solution. After uh, cleaning in an ultrasonic bath the aluminum parts, then I'll hang them in the, uh, uh, first I'll rinse them, then I'll hang them in the um, solution. The temperature is real important, do it about 70 degrees, plus or minus five. First I'll etch for about 30 seconds to a minute or so in the lye. It'll kind of smooth out the surface. Um, and what you can see here is the parts are hung in the uh, acid bath. And then the power supply, 15 volts. Uh, for the four parts I'm doing, it's about 1.2, 1.4 amps. Uh, you can see the bubbles uh, when the uh, current's causing the anodizing. If you don't see the bubbles, it's not anodizing. So make sure each part is uh, bubbling up. Here you can see a little bit of agitation from the air compressor. In the meantime, heating the uh, dyes in the uh, bath here to about 130 or so. Then you rinse the parts after the anodizing. Uh, and here's the parts after anodizing. It's 60 minutes of anodizing, basically. Rinse them off in uh, distilled water. And even if you dunk them in the dye for just a few seconds, if the anodize works, then uh, it'll actually soak up the dye really in a few seconds. You can see here it even starts to soak up the dye. And then I'll leave it in there for about 15 or 20 minutes just to get a nice even coat. Um, and again, the dye is about 130, 140 degrees, depending on which dye you get from Anodize World. After the uh, time is up in 15, 20 minutes, take the uh, parts out. You can see the color is pretty nice, shiny purple there. And uh, rinse it off. If it um, if it the, the dye is maintained, then you know everything worked. You can just stick it in the uh, the boiling water for about 15 or 20 minutes to seal the pores. I've had it where the dye washes off pretty quick, and that just means your pores are too big. I believe that's from too high of a current. Um, but in any case, uh, you can see that the the dye is not washing off at all, it's staying there. So 15, 20 minutes in the water bath, uh, that seals the pores, and um, then I pull them out and uh, basically done. So that's it. Quick and dirty. Uh, pretty reliable stuff with just pool chemicals. The other thing is the finish I did on these was just a scotch bright um, and then an aluminum polish. So there may have been some micro scratches and whatnot, but still came out pretty good. Um, Use the Caswell um, anodizing calculator for the time, but typically you'll anodize for about 60 minutes. Thanks.